Our next speech is by Toastmaster Ranjit Kumar, Success. Success, Toastmaster Ranjit Kumar. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, there's a question from all of you, how you define a success. Please answer the question, how you define a success. How would you define a success? Last minute. How would you define a success? I researched on a topic. What is a success? And there is my research concluded. If you ask this question from 7.6 billion people across the globe, you will find all different answers. Finally, Brian Dyson and I concluded with the definition, if you achieve five factors of life, and if you manage and balance all five factors of life, you become a successful. Otherwise, you cannot be. If a person accomplishes a goal, and I ask, do you have a financial freedom? Okay, he has. Is he a spiritual? Okay, he is. But he is not balancing his health. He's not a successful. Go and Google and find out there are hundreds of the people. They were financially free. They had a lot of money, big business, and they attempted suicide. They were not a successful. You need to be a juggler if you want to be a successful. There is a definition given by Brian Dyson. Before that I speak on the definition, I challenge you to skip any of the factor and give me the logic, and I'll give you the logic as well. He said that value has a value if a value of a value is a valued. And you need to juggle all five factors like this because you have a 24 hours. Majority of people used to say, I have no time for health. I have no time for family. Sometime my workload is very high. That's I cannot manage. And Brian Dyson says that your job is a rubber ball. Your health, friends and family, and the spirituality are glass balls. You need to juggle all five balls like this. Majority of the people, they give a lot of time to the job and they forget all glass balls. And suddenly what happened? Consider this is our health. If you get a repair, you can repair. Yes, this is a research but there are a lot of strains will be on the glass. If your health gone, it never come back. If you cross the edge, your spirituality cannot be the same. If you combine all five factors, you can achieve each and everything. You need to give time to your job, about 10 to 8 hours. You need to balance your health. It's all about your diet and health. Because a person can be successful with the three factors which are the part of all five factors. Your spiritual fitness, mental fitness, and your physical fitness. This cover in five factors. The family is the more important in our daily life, but we forgo one family all the time. You always forgo your immediate family, and you always give time to your nuclear family. Nuclear family means your kids, your daughters, and your wife is a nuclear family. And your immediate family, your brothers, sisters, and your father. When we get married, we forgo our immediate family, which is the biggest loss of your success. And then we forget this greatest thing of life. We forget our friends because we're too much busy in our job, in our work. Believe me, your work is a rubber ball. Your friends is like a glass ball. Once you ignore them, when you cross 60, are you about to die? You need friends, but you don't have a time. They don't have a time to spend their family with you. The most important factors, the old chakras and all the spirituality, those people who already believe in a certain religion, they follow all techniques, but the meditation is a real art, which not only gives you the benefits, but also gives you a mental fitness. This is my research and my practice. When you go home, get a stress, close your eyes, do five minutes like this, three minutes like this, 
this will complete your meditation process. You will gain a power of two hours. You can get more work and you can spend a lot of time. You will never get early sleep. You will never feel tired. This is my practice. And then, life is not all about what I say. It's all about execution. Execution is the most powerful, what I say and what we read in the books. But the, all this story is nothing but juggling five balls. And Brian Dyson always focuses on it. But I'm here sharing you one co story of a cobbler. Cobbler was one man in a village. He used to repair the footwear shoes of those people who broke the shoes. But I saw that cobbler. His foot was completely broken. I asked uncle, you need to repair it. Because if you don't repair it, we can find a good cobbler like you. He said, my son, I don't have a time. I can't repair it because I don't have a time. Once, he got a nail in at the foot and he started limping. Next day I said, uncle, please look at you yourself. He didn't agree. Then what happened? He started limping more and more. After 90 days, he diagnosed with a foot cancer. Doctor told him, we'll cut this, your foot out. And the second foot, it was limping again. Doctor said, if you cut it down, we can never stop your cancer. And just because of this man, whole village started suffering from limping and broken shoes. The cobbler is the head of the family. And the people of village, all your kids and your father, your mother, your blood relation, who are dependent on you. And if Kobler would have taken my advice, he would have supported to all the people. Last but not least, I am telling you, success is not a money. Success is not a family only. Success is a combination of all five factors. Job means money, your health, family, friends, relatives, and spirituality. If you combine all five factors, you can be successful, otherwise not. Because success is not a choice. Success is a choice, it's not a chance. That's it. Conscious choice. Thank you.